Hey everyone, this is Brian Lagunas. I just wanted to make a, a short, quick video to give you guys an update on some new NuGet packages that I've created for you guys to help it make it easier for you to install the free Infragistix WPF and Silverlight themes that I give away on my blog. And if you're not familiar with these, with these themes, just go to my blog, brianlagunas.com, click on the blog item, and just search for free theme. And then the first options that come up are the blue theme, the IG theme, and then of course the most popular is the Metro Light and Dark themes. Uh, these are the free themes for the Microsoft controls that Infragistics has given away. And these are for WPF and Silverlight. And if you read through these posts, you'll see all the resource dictionaries that are required and what you have to do, all the controls that it covers. Uh, but through the comments, it, it was apparent that it's kind of hard for people to really start adding these. You know, we have toolkit assemblies uh, that you have to worry about. You have other assemblies that you need to add references to. So to make it easier, what I did is I created some NuGet packages. So now all you have to do is uh, manage NuGet packages, but let's just take a look at the, uh, the apps we're dealing with here. I'll have a simple app I'm going to run. It uh, has a few controls in it, right? All the controls that's supported. This is for WPF. So now let's say I want to add a, a theme to that. So I'm going to man manage my NuGet packages. I'm going to search NuGet for the infragistics.themes. And then we're going to see all the themes that are available. We have the IG theme, the Metro Dark, Metro Light, Office 2010, and unique to WPF only is the Office 2013. Uh, let's go ahead and hit the Metro Light because this is probably one of the most popular themes that people are asking about. I'm going to hit install. It's going to go through uh, its process. It's going to add the necessary dependencies and it's going to add the theme uh, resources to a themes folder. And there's, there's a file in here that tells you how to apply this. So basically we're going to take this merge resource dictionaries portion out. We're just going to copy that. Okay. We're going to go into our app.xaml and we're just going to paste this right in there. And now I'm just going to run the application. And now magically our, all our controls have been restyled for that theme. And of course, if you wanted to add a different theme, you would search for the theme you cared about. Let's say you wanted to go uh, dark this time, install that. Once that's done, you will now see another folder with the resources and instructions on how to apply that theme. And it's no different for Silverlight. Let's go up to our Silverlight project. We're going to uh, make this the startup project. Okay, so let's uh, run this app right quick. Here's all the controls. Okay, non-theme, these are the default. I'm going to go ahead, right click, Manage NuGet Packages. Of course, we want to search for infragistics.themes. Uh, as you can see, Silverlight only has four. We didn't write, we didn't release the theme for uh, 2013, Office 2013 for Silverlight. Uh, if we want to take the Metro Light theme here, we'll hit install. As you can see, it's bringing in all its dependencies. Uh, we see that the Metro theme has been applied. Here's our instructions. It's a little different, so we're going to copy that out. Open up our app.xaml, paste that in, run this app. And now we have the nice, beautiful, clean Metro Light theme applied. All right, if you guys have any questions at all, just go to my blog, brianlagunas.com. Uh, you can contact me through the contact form, or you can find the, the post directly and comment on the post. Uh, if you have any questions, please reach out to me. Don't be shy. And uh, thanks again.